Well, hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Doc has pretty much screwed us over this time. Uh, we were well on our way to having everything figured out. And then Doc decided he loves Edna more than he loves Clara. I mean, this Doc doesn't even technically know who Clara is. Uh, but it's, it's, it's bad. Uh, it's not, it's, it's not a good, good spot we're in. Um, pretty much completely boned. And, um, yeah, so now we're stuck in, what are we, 1931? And we don't have a, we don't have a time machine, or a dog. Hello? Marty! You're awake! Good! Doc! Uh, Emmett! Uh, where are you? I'm down at the expo. I snuck out early to avoid my pop. If he knew I was about to make a publicly scientific spectacle of myself, he'd hit the roof. Uh, you let me sleep in? Stay right there. You should make me stay right there. Well, stay put. I'm on my way. Great! But first, I need you to perform an important mission. On the table next to my law books, there's a device plugged into the wall. I, uh, I think I see it. Is it glowing? Yeah. Is that good? Good? It's fantastic! The glowing means my static accumulator is charged up and ready for action. Bring it down to the high school and we'll... Damn! What? It's Edna! But... Oh, good. Okay, Emmett. One static accumulator coming up. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Jeez, Doc. Watch out. You almost ran me over. Sorry about that, Martin. This vehicle is sometimes difficult to control. Uh, yeah. Hey, are you okay? After that argument about Emmett last night... I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Uh, okay. Where have you been all night? I've been driving around, looking up old friends, thinking things over. Okay. So is that what I'm destined to build for the expo? Yeah, it's a static accumulator. Emmett spent all night building it. Turned out he didn't really need to see Frankenstein after all. He just needed a little push. And, and some lightning. Fascinating. I also had an epiphany last night. Doc? I realized that it wasn't Edna that made my life miserable. Oh, great. Doc! It was science! Uh, but science means everything to you. Emmett, you can't go back to Edna. Emmett's path is set. Science is everything to you. You can't give up science. You love science. Correction. My younger self loves science. But if Emmett doesn't go through with a demonstration at the expo, his dreams of being a scientist will dim just enough for Edna to step back into his life and steer him down another path. Another path? Another path? What other path? I don't know. Architecture, automobile repair, taxidermy. Maybe I'll even pursue a life in law like my father always wanted. As long as Emmett steers clear of science, Edna and I will be free to be happy together. Uh, you can't go back to Edna. You can't want Emmett back with Edna. She used you to turn Hill Valley into a police state. She used my science to turn Hill Valley into a police state. But if I don't become a scientist, she'll never get the chance to vent her crazier ambitions. Doc, I'm begging you. You haven't thought this through. Haven't I? I guess we'll both find out. One thing's for sure. Emmett Brown's life will be a whole lot less complicated without a time machine in it. No! Ah! Ah! What the uh, hell? This is this is all kinds of bad. Like this is potentially the Where'd worst go? worst predicament in the history of Back to the Future. Uh, okay. Oh come on. Uh huh. What? Here, little static thingy. Uh, okay. Uh, so there's got to be a different approach here.
Or do I just keep following it until... Oh, okay. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Uh... Gotcha! There we go. Just had to time it right. Again, there's all kinds of things that I feel like people in 1931 shouldn't be seeing, but we do it anyways. The future is coming today. There's a shiny new tomorrow on the way. A day of invention is at hand. It's a mystic futuristic wonderland. Didn't she get fired? Just around the bend, my friend, you'll see a dream or two. Why is Trixie there? I thought she got fired. Dream, your dreams can all come true. There's a world of wondrous wonder on display. Because the future is coming today. Not bad, eh? Not bad at all, but I thought you fired her. I found a loophole. What kind of loophole? Just a loophole. You're not the only one who's allowed to have secrets, you know. All right, all right. Say, don't you have to get that whatchamacallit to Emmett Brown's booth? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah, right. Because the future is coming. It's almost here now. The future is coming. It's getting clear now. The future is coming to Okay, that was lovely. That was lovely. Algae cakes, miracle food from the swamp lid. Get your algae cakes. But they're gross. How about an algae cake? Sure thing, mister. No, 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 we don't actually want Wait that. Wait a minute, you're the guy that makes the algae cakes? But I thought you couldn't stand them. Hey, you're the guy that tried to pick up on my Eunice. No, no. Oh, for the love of... No algae cakes for you, buster. Okay. Uh, big Enlightenment awaits you big under loss. the sea. Uh, it's one of those, um, what are they called? Yeah, yeah it uses like static energy to make Enlightenment music. awaits you under. Excuse me, Mr. Dudo, Jacques Dudo, at your service. Uh, who are you? Jacques Duteau, famous diver. So you're some kind of celebrity? I do not like to brag, but uh, I have a small following, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, must be tough being famous. I guess people are always bugging you for autographs, huh? Asking you to tell them stories about your adventures and stuff. It gets a bit old, but I can always retreat to the depths. The fish are much less uh, uh, demanding. Uh, can I get a ride? Could I get a ride in that bathosphere? Certainement, if you've got a ticket. Uh, I don't have a See ticket. you around. I do not have a ticket, so I will walk away instead. I think that's supposed to be a clock. <laughs> Insert ticket to enter. Uh, who's selling all the tickets? Where's... We need tickets. Insert ticket to enter. Huh, just kind of like, kind of like the last one there, eh? Can't see that. Uh, Artie might have tickets. Hey, Artie, what do you think? Quite a setup, huh? The expo? Sure, but I was wondering. Uh, where's Emmett? You haven't seen Emmett Brown, have you? Isn't he at his booth? It's the tall one over there. Okay, and how'd you get Trixie your job back? Come on, you can tell me. How did you manage to get Trixie your job back? I thought her being Canadian was a deal breaker. If something's really important to you, you find a way. You ought to know that. Okay, please. See you around. Please don't, uh. Please don't not marry my grandmother. It's, uh. Kind of bad for all of us, you know? And here he comes, right on cue. No doubt he'll try to talk you out of it, Detective, but you mustn't let your resolution waver. Hello, Corleone. Uh... What's going on here? What's going on here? 
Well, uh, Miss Strickland here seems to think, uh... You should step aside and let the officer do his duty. Now. Wait a minute. That's Emmett's levitator up there. Oh, don't be so modest. I'd say you deserve at least half the credit. It was you who tricked poor Emmett into breaking up with me. It was you who manipulated him into dropping my project in favor of this clear hazard to public safety. Well, I... Emmett chose his own path. The electrokinetic levitator was Emmett's idea. I just helped. What's your point? Oh, I think you know exactly what my point is. Emmett's invention isn't going to work, is it? At least not the way poor Emmett thinks it is. How do you know this? I had a very interesting chat with Carl Sagan last night. Oh, I found Doc. out who Michael Corleone really is, and where he comes from. Is there something you want to tell me, Michael? Why don't you call him by his real name? Yakov Shmirnov. Thanks a lot, Doc. <laughs> An anarchist! A foreign agitator bent on sowing chaos and destruction in the Hill Valley Expo! Annie, you don't believe any of this bullshit, do you? Sorry, uh, Yakov, but uh, I really don't have a choice. What? Very good. And now, arrest this subversive. Everybody has a choice. Come no, here. no. No, don't do it. Hey, let me go. Look, here's the thing. I happen to believe this dame's got a screw loose. But she's been getting some clout in town ever since that business with Kid Tannen. But Emmett's gotta fly that electrokinetic levitator at this demo. His whole future depends on it. And my future depends on making sure he doesn't. The chief reads her column religiously. Mm. Well, if I don't do what she says, she's going to start a campaign to have certain tainted officers removed from the force. Uh. Isn't there anything I can do? Not unless you've got some dirt on Edna. Something that'll discredit her in the eyes of the law. Well? I'll dig something up. You do that. In the meantime, you and young Mr. Brown better... Uh, where is he, anyway? Wait, you haven't seen him? Emmett? Has this foreign radical done something to my Emmett? Maybe you should find him. Wow. You're letting him go? That cop's this as crooked as they come. radical subversive? Just like that? Okay, so, I gotta find Emmett. And do something about Edna. Uh, yeah, okay. Emmett's gonna fly his electrokinetic levitator, and he's gonna do it today. I can't believe Danny let himself get bullied into shutting down Emmett's booth. Come on, Emmett, where are you? Uh, I'm sure he's fine. Welcome to the phone booth of the future, made with Atlas Glass. Atlas, unbreakable and soundproof. Our phone is hands-free, so you can enjoy a sandwich or a cigarette while chatting with friends in perfect privacy. Or Would you like to place a call? Or both yes, at the same I'd time. I'd like to talk to... Unfortunately, this phone booth only accepts incoming calls. Well, then why did you... Why... Why ask me if I want to place a call? KL... F what? What was the KL... I assume we'll Would need to know like that. Would you like to place a call? KL 4253. Yes, I'd like to talk to... Unfortunately, this phone booth KL only accepts incoming 42 calls. KL 4253. KL 4253. Okay, you're in charge of remembering that, because I'm not going to. What does rinky dink stuff over there? Hi, Trixie. That's techni to you, kiddo. Right. Uh, congratulations on getting the old job back. Thanks. Justice triumphs in the end, you know. Now, what can I do you for? Uh, do you have tickets? I'm. I, there's just some exhibits I'm trying to check out. Already told me how you managed to get your old job back. He did, but it was supposed to be a secret. There's no secrets between us. He couldn't resist telling such a good story. This is deceitful. Yeah? Still, I'd like to hear it again, uh, from your point of view. 
Uh, he didn't tell you anything. Uh, uh, yeah, come on. Come on, Trixie. I'm dying to know how you got the job back. You won't hear it from me. I don't talk out of turn. Oh, damn. So, which exhibits do you recommend? The most popular attractions are the Glass House, the Future Furnishings, and of course, Enlightenment Under the Sea. You know who that is under the diving helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself! Of course, you need to get tickets if you want to see the main attractions. Right, how do I get tickets? How much are tickets? Aw, oh, put your money away. Here, you're kind of like family now, you know? Holy moly! Thanks. That's her whole roll of tickets. You seen Emmett around? I'm kind of worried that he's not at his booth. Hmm, let me think. Uh, yeah. He wandered down that way a little while ago. He was talking real intense with another guy. Older guy? Looked a lot like Emmett in the face? Yeah. Uh, Uncle or something? Or something. Oh, God. Look, Emmett's demonstration has hit a snag or two. Can you delay his act for a while? Let someone else go before him? Sorry, I don't set the roster, and they won't let me change it. Uh, I can drag my feet a little, but uh, if your friend's not ready to go on pretty soon, we might have to skip his act. No, uh, no. I mean, demonstration. But you can't. Hey, it's just a science demo. It ain't a matter of life and death. <laughs> okay. What time is Emmett supposed to go on? Let's see. Eight kilobeats past fifty. We're on metric time here at the Hill Valley Expo. What? What does that even mean? Edna Strickland is trying to get Emmett's booth shut down. That dame don't know how to mind her own business, does she? Is there anything you can do uh, to get Emmett's booth open again? <sighs> I wish there was, but I'm just a muse. All we can do is inspire people. Inspire me. Okay, you're a muse. Can you inspire me an idea? I'll try. Well? Maybe it doesn't take effect right away. Well, okay. Thanks. Happy to help. Not that this isn't fun, Trixie, uh, but we got a space-time continuum to defend, so piss off. Are you ready for a picture radio? Wonder if that's anything like MTV. Hey, it's the first television. Kind of. Not really. A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? A potted plant? What's this got to do with law enforcement? It's a bug. No, a plant. But it's got a wire recorder hidden inside, see? If we could have got one of these into Tannen's speakeasy, and if he's the kind of guy who talks to plants, we could have busted him a lot earlier. That's fair. Oh. Hello. The amazing inebriomatic. Well, from what the boys in the lab tell me, someday we'll be able to tell whether people have been drinking just by breathing into a machine like this. What? We'll try it out. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I got something to hide. The electro pacifier. Amazing, isn't it? They say one day we'll be able to stun fleeing criminals by shocking them at a distance. Does it work? Nah, it's just a model. No. Oh. I could really use a taser. Right about now. Just hey, Danny, could I have a word with you? Tase Edna. Comrade Schmirnov, come to turn yourself in? In private? With pleasure. I hate her so much. Oh, my God. You've got to let Emmett demonstrate his invention. His whole future depends on it. Well, I'd love to, kid, but Miss Strickland thinks it's dangerous. And unless you've got something on her, her word is pretty much law. <sighs> Have you seen him? Any idea where Emmett is? Well, he was working over by his booth. But by the time Edna got done haranguing me, he was gone. I hope he comes back soon so we can get this mess cleared up. Me too. What's a newly promoted detective like you doing hanging out in a science expo anyway? Are you kidding me? This is a great assignment. I get to sit around all day playing with nifty new crime-fighting gadgets. Like this. What does that do? Hell if I know. <laughs> uh, who listens to Edna? Since when does anyone in Hill Valley listen to what Edna has to say? Ever since she helped take down Kid Tannen, she's had the mayor and the city council eating out of her hand. I'd be an idiot to ignore her, yeah. especially with my uh, alcohol-heavy background. 
Boy, I wish I could catch her jaywalking or something. I'd throw the book at her. Yeah, but you never catch a dame like that breaking the law, darn it. I'm working on it. I've got some dirt on Edna, do I? You know how you said you'd defy Edna if I could dig up some dirt on her? Yeah? You got some? Uh, she tried to reprogram Doc that's in the future. She had my dad beat up. It's also in the future. She and they were whispering. I saw her whispering about something with Carl Sagan outside the expo yesterday. It's pretty you know weak. what they were whispering about? No, but she looked really guilty. I need something more solid than that, I'm afraid. Hmm. You haven't seen Carl Sagan around here, have you? Nah. Isn't he still a wanted man? Nah. All those arson charges got dropped weeks ago. Judge Brown said there wasn't enough evidence for a trial. Cool. Thanks. I'll be back. Oh, I hope so. You gotta get this albatross off my neck. Well, did you put the screws to him? Did he confess? Let's talk to this Shh, minx. He's approaching. Danny, can I talk to Edna for a minute? Be my guest. I'd like a couple minutes of quiet. What's this about? What you do with Emmett, Edna? What are you talking about? You're the one who's trying to ruin his life. Believe it or not, I'm the one trying to save it. From what? From you, mostly. Uh, you must know where he is. You really don't know where Emmett is? I haven't the foggiest. If he's smart, he's run far away from whatever dangerous shenanigans you talked him into perpetrating today. Shenanigans? But you broke up with Emmett. Why are you still involved in Emmett's life? I thought you broke up with him. I did, but then your friend Mr. Sagan told me about your scheme to interfere with our romance. Not a very nice thing to do, Comrade Shmirnoff. Emmett doesn't want you back. You don't really think Emmett's gonna want you back after you crushed his heart and tried to stop his demonstration at the expo, do you? Not at first, no. But eventually, he'll realize I've got his best interests at heart, and he'll come running back to me like one of those dogs he loves so much. But you hate dogs. Yes, ironic, isn't it? Uh, why'd you shut down his booth? Why'd you go and get Emmett's invention sealed up like that? I had no choice. Once Mr. Sagan told me about your attempts to radicalize my poor Emmett, I knew I had to stop him from going through with your dangerous invention. But it's his invention, and it's not dangerous. Okay, maybe it's a little dangerous, but only to him. That's for the authorities to decide. Uh, tell Parker to open the booth. Come on. Any chance you could talk Parker into letting Emmett go ahead with his demonstration? None whatsoever. And as long as I'm here, that contraption of yours is grounded. Um, uh, I've got the goods on you. I know your deep, dark secret. Secret? What secret? Uh, you've been working for Kid Tannen. Pretending like you wanted to put Kid Tannen away when all the time you were working for him. Oh, how preposterous. Ah. Uh, I know your deep, dark secret. You're a thief. Those charities you were working for, they were all just a front. Uh, so you could wriggle your way into those orphanages and... And steal their piggy banks. Right. Okay. That's pretty weak. I know your deep, dark secret. Uh, rhymes with which? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, what you were whispering with Carl. You know, what you were whispering about with Carl Sagan yesterday. You overheard? Sure I did. And you did a really lousy job at, uh, burying the body. Oh, you didn't hear a thing. What I was talking about with Carl Sagan is between me and Carl Sagan. Uh, Trixie's back in the saddle. Where is Carl Sagan? Have you seen Mr. Sagan around here anywhere? No, and I wouldn't tell you if I had. He's more than a little scared of your anarchistic tendencies. Oh my god. Did you see? Trixie Trotter got her old job back. Oh, I know! I tried to have it out with Arthur McFly, but he refuses to explain himself. Apparently, he discovered some sort of loophole that allows that Canadian to retain her position. Well, the Ladies' Decency Society shall hear about this. Make no mistake. Darn Canadians. 
Why is Parker so willing to do your bidding? <laughs> well, the good detective knows that he owes his current rise through the ranks to my reporting on his behalf. Oh. He also knows that I could just as easily pen an expose about his previous nights of drunken debauchery and evidence tampering. You're blackmailing him? Reporters don't blackmail, Mr. Schmirnoff. We look out for the public interest. Okay. Okay, this is pointless. I've got to find Emmett. Stay away from him, you anarchist hooligan. Shut up. Please. Uh, let's spend some of these tickets. Enlightenment awaits you under the sea. Here's my ticket. Give me a ride in that thing. Thank you, monsieur. I hope you will find your trip to the bottom of the sea less enlightening. It's a little scary, actually. I don't know that I would, uh... Like, who is this guy? That's it? He just submerges me in a tank and I don't get to well, see anything or do anything? Heavy. Monsieur has a way with words. Yes. Okay, you under the sea. It's kind of rubbish. I'm not gonna lie. What do we got over here? Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, gratification is just always a push of a button away. I mean, it does look very 60s in a lot of ways. This plant doesn't belong here. There's nothing futuristic about it. Uh, what? This is not my exhibit. What am I... What am I doing? A fully equipped home entertainment center. So, where's the ColecoVision? Uh, should I mess with this? <laughs> yeah, I should. Uh, red means go. In the house of the future, fresh fruit baskets will be replenished daily by fleets of fruit-bearing helicopters. This is a nod to Back to the Future uh, Part 2. Uh, in 2015, they have that. Huh. That, that should have been a moment for him. He should have been like, whoa, how do uh, they know that? Green means go. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Hey! Please recite the phone number you wish to dial. Or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's prank call the Brown Estate. Klondike 4385. Brown residence. Hey, Hampton. How's it hanging? This is Marty, Emmett's friend. Is he there? Not at the moment. I'm afraid he's off on one of his little adventures. Thanks. Bye. Farewell. Conversation terminated. Greetings again, mortals! What? This is Techni, no, we're not ready. Progress! Hoping you're all having a swell time taking in all the exhibits. Don't forget, you can purchase tickets to our main attractions right here at the information booth. No, 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 not ready. Not ready. Uh, green means go again. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial or say hang up to terminate your phone helmet experience. Uh, let's try f calling the phone booth. I don't know, it's probably premature, but we are going to have to do this at some point, I would guess. Klondike 4253. Hello, Trixie. Hill Valley Expo, where the future is coming today. This is Checkney Muse of Progress. To whom am I speaking? Um, is, uh, Carl Sagan. This is Carl Sagan. Ooh, the mysterious Mr. Sagan. What do you want? Uh, ooh, can I talk to Edna? Can you put Edna Strickland on the phone for me? Sure thing, Mr. Sagan. Hey, Strickland, somebody actually wants to talk to you. She's not going to buy this. Mr. Sagan. 
I didn't expect to hear from you again till after the expo. You didn't? Yes. Wasn't that part of our plan? Yes, our plan. About that plan. Uh, uh. Tell me about our plan. I'm a little unclear on the details of our plan. Unclear? But it's your plan. I mean, I'm worried that you're a little unclear on the details. What details? All I'm supposed to do is use my pole with Detective Parker to get Emmett's demonstration cancelled while you keep Emmett distracted. You are keeping him distracted, aren't you? Oh yes, he's a very distractible young man. Oh, that's what I keep telling everyone. Ah, uh, where's Emmett? I seem to have momentarily lost track of Emmett. Do you have any idea where I might find him? You lost him? You were supposed to keep him distracted. Oh, I have been. He's just uh, wandered off. Well, go look for him. I've got my hands full with Parker. Ah, uh, your dark secret. Regarding, uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, the little matter we were whispering about yesterday. Oh, that? As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought it up. I was thinking, wouldn't it be a good idea to pin it all on Yakov Shmirnov? Uh, uh, pin what on him, exactly? You know, it! Uh. Oh, I get it. You're still sore about going to jail. Uh. That was the dog's fault. If he hadn't come glumping up to me right after I started the fire, I could have gotten clean uh. away, and I never would have had to divert suspicion to you. Jeez, the speakeasy arsonist. Carl, is somebody with you? No! Oh. It's just you and me. <laughs> so, I don't mean to pry, but why did you burn down all those speakeasies? Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. Okay. Why are you saying all those terrible things about Emmett's friend? Young comrade Shmirnov, you were the one who told me about his vile deeds. Talk's a dick. There's been a change of plan. What? Yes. I've changed my mind. I think we should let Emmett go through with his demonstration. But, but you told me it could be dangerous, and that Yakov Shmirnov was a foreign agitator. That the only way I could get Emmett back would be to scoop him up after his dreams were shattered, and... and yes, and... yes, yes. I said a lot of things, but I was a little crazy at the time. The important thing is, now I think you should let Emmett go ahead with his little demonstration. Oh, I get it. What? It's Comrade Shmirnov, isn't it? He's gotten to you. No! I really want Emmett to go ahead with his demo. Don't worry, Carl. You can count on me. Uh, da, 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 da. Edna, listen to me. You have to let Emmett go through with his demonstration. Shmirnov's listening, isn't he? No, listen! Listen, Shmirnov. I don't know what you're holding over Mr. Sagan, but there's no way I'm ever letting that contraption you've talked my Emmett into building get off the ground. <gasps> Damn it. Well, we should probably get back to the plan. Yes, we should. Goodbye, Mr. Sagan. Goodbye. Okay. Conversation terminated. So that was helpful. Uh, blue means go. In the mood for fun, the house of the future comes equipped with a modern home entertainment center. Chinese checkers and everything. Wow, well, okay. Uh, so we gotta... Got it. Ooh. Ooh. Full fair. Get your money's worth at the expo. That was a rare achievement. Not many people do that? Or is it that not many people play this game? What do we have here? From the stairs, most a house of glass. Modular living of the future. No one in here. Uh, but I'm guessing there will be at some point. <laughs> I'm guessing there will be. So, uh, hey, Danny, Danny boy, I got some, uh, got some dirt. I can't prove it. Like at casual. all. He's coming back. Do I still have a tape recorder? No. Okay. Hey, Danny, could I have a word with you? I thought you'd never ask. I got dirt. You know how you said you'd defy Edna if I could dig up some dirt on her? Yeah? You got some? Yeah. She burned down the 
Edna's the speakeasy arsonist. That's an interesting theory. No, no. It's the truth. I heard her confess. Well, I didn't hear it, so I'm afraid it's your word against hers. And no offense, but her word carries a little more weight around here than yours does. Thanks. I'll be back. Well, did you put the screws to him? Did he confess? Uh... Well, speak... Edna, we need to talk. What if I can... Go ahead. It'll give me a chance to rest my ears. What is it now? Can I accuse her? I know your deep, dark secret. You're the arsonist. Come on, Edna, confess. You're the speakeasy arsonist. I refuse to even dignify that accusation with a response. Huh. Okay, this is pointless. I've got to find Emmett. Stay okay. away from him, you anarchist hooligan. Uh, okay. I'm sure she's got a secret, but how can I get it out of her? No, no, no. We know She does. And we know what it is. We just need to... got to be able to prove it. Hmm. I can't go in. Um. Can we leave here? I don't think we can. I think we're just stuck here. Hey, Artie. Uh, uh, da, da, See you around. Okay. Uh. It's got to be... We're going to... Uh, go back and do this phone thing again. Welcome to the world of tomorrow, where a man's home is truly his castle. Here, gratification is just always a push of a button away. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone helmet. Uh, Please recite the phone so number you Trixie's wish to gonna dial answer again. or say hang up to terminate your phone helmet experience. I would assume. Klondike 4253. Hill Valley Expo, Tech Me speaking. Who's this? Um, I call it on some guy, Kid Tannen. What is the benefit of this? It's Kid Tannen. I'm out of jail and I want you back, baby. I don't know who you are or why you're doing that horrible impersonation of Kid, but that part of my life is over. I've gone legit. Conversation terminated. Good for you, Trixie. Yeah. It's useless. In the house of the future, phone conversations will be completed in the privacy of the personal phone. Some number. guy. Please recite the phone number you wish to dial. Or say, hang up, to terminate your phone helmet experience. Klondike 4253. Jeez, always with the phones. Yeah? Uh, Michael Corleone, some guy? This is Anthony. I'm looking for a friend of mine, Mr. Closeoff. Closeoff? What? Yes, first name Oliver. Oliver Closeoff? Listen, kid, why didn't just fall off the poutine truck? Who is this really? Hang up. Conversation terminated. What in the actual hell? In what way was that beneficial? Well, aside from getting a... Aside from getting an achievement, I guess. Thank you for watching! Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Please do all three. And uh, when we return, we're gonna figure out uh, we're gonna figure out how to manipulate this phone thing. I think the phone thing is is definitely the answer. And until next time, goodbye.